In this video, you will learn about modifier in Solidity programming language that how you can define and what kind of benefit it's provide. Okay, so here I have opened my Remix ID. Make sure to do that. So let's come here and let me give this command function modifier. And here I'm going to give a couple of notes to all of you guys so you guys can have that in mind. Okay, modifier are code that can be run before and after function calls. Okay, generally used for three reasons. The first one we have is the restrictions okay so if you want to keep a restriction for anything for that validations and the third one we have is the guard for reentrancy okay so this is the three important concept which you have to know for the smart contract developer okay that it help you to restrict any functions it help you to validate data it help you to prevent any reentrancy attack okay so that's these are the couple of things you have to keep in mind let's come here let's create a contract we'll call it function modifier and here we're going to define a couple of variables public honor we'll say unt public x is equal to 10 okay so i have taken two state variable Let, let's take the third one public locked okay so what i have done i have taken three state variable one is honor the second one is unt type x is 10 and the third one is a boolean type okay three different data types let's create a Mm, constructor and in that what i have to do is i have to set the honor message dot sender because i'm going to deploy the contract so i will be the message dot sender and here i have to create a modifier okay so what i say modifier only honor okay so what this modifier will do that wherever you will attach this modifier only honor of the smart contract can call that function okay so let me show you what i mean by that so i'll say required message dot honor sorry sender and i have to pass this honor so if message that sender the one person who's calling the function if his honor if his honor then only execute but if it's not the honor then you have to throw the error message not honor okay so this is the simple modifier we have created and this is how we have to denote okay so if this statement get true that dash notation will mean that continue the function further okay execute the other function so this is the simple modifier we have built hope this makes sense to all of you guys now let's come here let's create the second modifier which is for validating data okay so i have to validate this address and i'll say that address not equal to the zero address and if that's then i have to throw this error message okay that's the second modifier i have so we got this two modifier and now we have to continue the function okay now let's create a function we'll say check owner we have to pass the address and i'll say new honor okay so what this function will do that it will change the ownership of the contract okay and public i'll say honor only and validate data okay so here what i am doing that i'm calling the two modifier i have created as a function okay so i have created this only honor means only owner of the smart contract can call the function okay so that's the first modifier we have the second modifier is validate data okay so first only honor will execute if it's get true okay then this function will to execute then the change honor function will execute okay so this function this function okay hope this makes sense to all of you if it does then we have to simply get this on new honor and we'll set the honor to new honor okay hope this makes sense try to understand that what's going on you can use this modifier as an abstraction just imagine that you have a statement and the same statement you have to utilize in multiple functions so you can abstract that as a modifier and all you have to do is to attach that modifier in every single function wherever you want to do the check and that's so powerful this will save you from critical bugs okay it will save you from typing lengthy long smart contract like too many codes okay so it will save you a lot of time and sort of lot of bugs so that looks fine to me no more error we have now what we can do it so we have the modifiers we have the change honor functions and both the modifiers are working fine now let's come here let's try to deploy the contract and deploy and this is the you can see i got this locked variable is false honor this and x is this okay so now what i want i can come here i can simply go to the account number two and because i want to set him an honor okay so if i copy that his address and if i come here and simply this is the honor if i paste his and currently i'm on account number two that's the thing you have to keep in mind so currently i'm on account number two so if i call this change honor function i'll get an error okay because i'm not the honor account two is not the honor account one is the honor okay so our modifier is working fine i got this error message 
So, okay, so if I come here, you can see I got this error message from here. If I copy that account address, if I paste and make the change, I can still get that error. Okay, I'm not the owner. So, to change, I have to come back to my first account and now I can make an owner. And this time, what I'm doing that I'm making owner my contract. Okay, I'm making the contract owner to itself. Okay, so if I paste and if I hit a request, you can see the transaction went successful, everything is looking good. So this is the address which is the contract address <laughs> so right now nobody can do anything because this contract is the owner of itself okay so this is how you can transfer the ownership of the contract okay if you click on the owner you can see the owner variable is changed if you go to no matter what accounts and if you try to call this functions you will get an error okay you will get an error that not owner okay because the owner is the contract what function no matter what account you call you will get that error so hope these things are making sense to all of you guys. You guys have understood that how you can use the modifier as an abstraction and you can check for a condition, check for the data validations and you can do a hell lot of thing. Okay. So that's the first check. Let's come down. Let's create another modifier and I'll say no rain trends here. And you guys have already are familiar with this famous attack which happened in most of the smart contract re entrancy attack. Okay. And in such scenario, modifiers play a great role. It's a great role in such scenario modifiers plays such a great role because it will totally prevent any kind of re entrancy attack if you use modifier okay there is no chance of having re entrancy so let's create a function for that so here what i want to do is i have to check for a condition if lock is true okay initial value of lock is false okay if it's true then i have to say that no re entrancy this is the error message i want to send and i want to simply execute the function false okay but if it's not true then i have to set the true okay then i have to simply continue and i have to say false so in that way i'm simply strictly saying that if that's happened then change the variables and update the data okay so that's the modifier i have here now i can use this in my function so i'll say decrement it will take a number public reentrancy you can see i have called the modifier and now i have to do simple calculation i want to simply subtract this x by minus one okay every time i call okay so that looks fine and here i have to check for condition if i is greater than one then i want to simply decrement i plus one okay simple logic i hope these things are not making any complicated okay these are the simple javascript we are doing because javascript and salty both are same you will find everything is same so that's the simple smart contract we are using the modifier no reentrancy modifier to check these conditions okay subtracting checking for the if statement let's come here and let's try to deploy the contract and here you can see let's come here and here you can see we get all the functions right now x is 10 and all these variables we have mm, this looks good now let's provide this mm so if i provide five i'll get an error because the value is above one and that's why it's throwing this error okay no re-entrancy but if i provide zero it went successful because it's less than because zero is less than one okay and that's the condition we are checking here you can see this is the value we have provided which is less than one if i provide one if i hit a request it will went through because one equal to one you can see this is the value add if i provide two it will throw me an error you can see our re-entrancy attack is working fine sorry a modifier is working fine so that's how you can create the possibilities are endless you can create many logic around these simple powerful functions okay so that's the only thing you have to know about this modifier that this is how you can create an abstraction of the condition which you want to check in every function okay so just imagine that you have a couple of function in your smart contract and you want that owner only only if owner can call that functions so you can add this kind of modifier so only owner of the contract can have the calling power of the functions okay so hope these things make sense to all of you guys if you have still any confusion re-watch the video and leave your comments down below so i can help you so with that let's move to the next video